So can you trust yourself? I mean, really, can you trust who you are? You know, if I were to tell people that they can trust themselves, it would, well, it would evoke all kinds of reactions. In this denomination, they might look at me a certain way. In another denomination, they might kick me out of the church. Trust yourself. You can't trust yourself. You got to trust God, not yourself. And you see what that sort of thinking does? It puts me and God on different teams. I've got to trust God, but not myself. Well, wait a minute, have we set up self to be a dirty word here? Let's go back and look at the gospel just briefly. What is the gospel regarding yourself? Remember that your old self died. It was buried and it was not raised out of that tomb. Something new came up from there. The Bible calls it a new self. The Bible calls it a new creation. So can you trust the new creation? Can you trust your new self? And hey, remember, you're only one self, not two. So can you trust yourself? A lot of Christians, they answer that with a big fat, no, no way, I can't trust myself. And when they conceive of who they are, they're thinking that they're dirty and rotten and sinful and wicked and that they can't trust their hearts. They can't trust who they are. They can't trust themselves. But we have to go back. We have to pay homage we have to honor and respect what Christ did to us in giving us a new self. So don't put Christ on one team and yourself on another. Remember that you've been united with Christ. Anyone who's joined himself to the Lord is one spirit with him. That's pretty close. That means we're in union and we're in agreement. It's not me versus him. It's us together forever. So can you trust yourself? Maybe you thought the answer to that question was no. But remember, in trusting yourself, you're trusting the self that God made you into at salvation. The new self, the new creation, joined to Jesus forever. God has made you trustworthy. Your heart wants what he wants. You want what he wants. And there is no conflict. Sure, there's a battle against the flesh and the power of sin. But you're not sin, and you're not the flesh. You are you, a child of God, a brand new self, a new creation who wants exactly what God wants. Trust yourself. Trust the new self that you truly are. Know that Jesus Christ is in agreement with you, and you, your heart, is in agreement with him.